Have you ever wondered how auditors communicate critical information in their reports? Well, today we unravel the mystery behind Emphasis of Matter, or EOM, and Other Matter, or OM, paragraphs. EOM paragraphs serve as a spotlight, highlighting particular elements that are critical to understanding the financial statements. These could include significant uncertainties like pending litigation or events that might affect the entity's ability to continue. They also emphasize material misstatements that have been corrected or disclosed. For example, if a company is embroiled in a lawsuit that could drastically affect its financial position, an EOM paragraph would be used to explain the situation and its implications. On the other hand, OM paragraphs offer additional context. They're not about the fundamental elements of the financial statements, but rather about the audit itself, the auditor's responsibilities or the auditor's report. They address compliance with legal or regulatory requirements and provide clarifications related to the audit process. For instance, if a company changed its accounting policy for revenue recognition because of a new standard, an OM paragraph would explain this change. So, let's dive into the key differences between EOM and OM paragraphs. Firstly, their purpose. EOM paragraphs are all about highlighting specific, fundamental matters in the financial statements. They address significant uncertainties, material misstatements or limitations in the audit scope. OM paragraphs, however, provide additional information relevant to understanding the audit, the auditor's responsibilities, or the auditor's report. They address matters that are important but not fundamental. Secondly, their content. EOM paragraphs focus on specific issues like going concern, litigation, or material misstatements. They typically relate to matters disclosed in the financial statements. OM paragraphs, on the other hand, cover a broader range of topics, including changes in accounting policies, related party transactions and non-compliance with laws. They may not directly impact the financial statements but provide context. Finally, their significance. EOM paragraphs address significant matters that require users' attention. So there you have it, a comprehensive look at EOM and OM paragraphs. By understanding these, you can better decipher the complexities of audit reports. Keep learning with Learnora, your learning lab. Until next time.